welcome to day six of our Disney trip. We are on our way to Epcot this morning. Weather this morning, the temperature is actually very tolerable. The humidity is not even there, but it's warm. It's, it's comfortable, it's pleasant. So let's hope it stays like this. So the agenda for today is we're probably going to try and focus on World Showcase, get on Guardians, and any other rides that we may want to redo again that we didn't get to the first time we were here. And it should be a fun filled day. Good morning. Oh, I love your bracelet. Oh, thank you. Here, wait for that green light. And welcome to Thank you. All right, I've had to switch over to Alex's phone now. So if you notice a difference in quality, well, that's just the way it is. My phone is officially out of storage and I'm trying to figure out how to free storage space up, but it's a very slow process. So in the meantime, we're on Alex's phone. Um, but we, d we were doing stuff in the meantime while I couldn't record. There was already stuff that I had shown you, so you weren't missing out on much. We got stuck on Spaceship Earth for a good 10 minutes, but otherwise it was the same and we did Journey of Water again and we went on Living with the Land again. We did Spaceship Earth. So yes, and we just finished soaring. So now we're gonna go mosey on over to World Showcase while we wait for our Guardians boarding group to be called. Okay, back on my phone and hopefully I have space. So we're here at, I think it's Port of Entry and we got the beer flight. It's all orange, like the theme is like orange bird, orange everything. So we went the beer flight and we got the Orange Twist Imperial Ale, Lemon Drop Shandy and a Tangerine Hazy IPA. Okay, I think this is the Imperial Ale. Not a, it's like, almost like a, maybe it's the lemon drop. I'm not really sure. Here, Alex, you try it. You tell me what you think of it. It's kind of bitter. It's like caramel -y, almost. I thought it tasted like a, like a cough drop. That's why I thought it was like get the that. lemon. I get like a... No? Yeah, I don't know what order they go in, but I think, no, you know what? I think that is the Imperial Ale because I think, I think it goes. So I think it goes Imperial Ale, then the Shandy, yeah. and then that looks like the IPA there. This tastes so. like a creamsicle. Let's try the Lemon Drop Shandy. Oh yes, I like that a lot better. It's um, sweeter, tastes lemony. It's very light and crisp. A little sour. Yeah, like a, a Rattler. Yeah. Or a Shandy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, I like that one. That one's good. And then of course. The IPA, Tangerine Express Hazy IPA. Oh yeah, it's a classic I um, IPA. You'll like that a lot. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's got I love some hazy. Got some orange notes to it, like as tangerine notes. Ooh, really bitter at the end. Yeah, a little Not bitter. Good. Yeah. A little bitter, but that's just that's how IPAs are. But yeah, I like them. They're very tasty, and they're all from well, they're all from different places. The Imperial Ale is from New York, the Shandy's from Colorado, and then the Hazy IPA is from California. Our boarding group for Guardians has been called. We're so excited. I kind of want to get Everybody Wants to Rule the World. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I personally enjoy the song. And, but if we don't, if whatever song I get, because we've actually never written this without like, because the only time we've been on it was with the holiday song. So we never actually heard any of the actual songs that they normally play. So this will be a new experience for us. But yes, we're just going to hop in line and we're going to go on. In the complex and intricate Terran mind, I should look no further than the stage words of a great Terran classic. Three and three. Greetings, Terrans. I am Nova Prime Irani Rea, commander of the Nova Corps. On behalf of all Xandarians, I hope you have enjoyed exploring the wonders of Xandar. Okay, we waited almost 45 minutes to get on in the virtual queue. We're just about to, we're at the front where you get on the ride. Me 
me and Dexter, because I rode with Dexter, Alex rode with Jude. They were at the front as well, so we didn't ride together. But I got one way or another. So that was fun. I don't know what I got. And Alex can't remember what he got. He wasn't paying attention, but that's okay. So we got one way or another. I'm happy about that. It was a fun, fun ride as always. So smooth, so fun. And I'm learning to uh, slowly, slowly learning to like roller coasters, slowly. But I really have to sit at the front of that one or else I think I would like die. <laughs> We're going to find some food now. Well, we got the chicken and waffles from the Honey Bistro. I'm very excited to try this. It looks so good. And then we got another beer flight with these beers on it. So they, they all sounded really good. And we're really excited for the IPA, of course. All right, after a few, few bites, the chicken is very good. The thing is like kind of spicy and the waffle is not overly sweet, which I like. And then this, I think this sauce here is kind of spicy or the chicken itself is spicy, but it's all tasting very, very good. Okay, I really enjoyed the chicken and waffles. I think I'm gonna give it a solid, I'm between a seven and an eight tone it. It was really good. I, I recommend getting it if you're like, if you like this, the sweet and savory, even though it wasn't really that sweet, it had the savory waffle. So yeah, I, I would get it again. Yeah, it's a good portion. Um, I'd say the chicken was really good. Mm -hmm. The waffle wasn't my favorite style. Mm, it's a little too dense, a little dry, but overall it's good. I'd say a seven. Um, and how much was it? Do you remember? Was it like around uh, $10, I think? Yeah, I think it was nine bucks. Somewhere around there. I don't and it's a good size. Like, some people will say like some of the portions are on the small side, depending on what you get. Mm -hmm. But I mean, if you're going around and eating a lot, it's, it's a good size. Six seventy five. dollars So, oh. pretty good deal. Oh, yeah. Wow. yeah, not bad at all. Well, there you go. Six, just seven dollars and go around and share share that. I mean, if you want it yourself, I mean, you can easily eat yeah. that, but we're not big eaters, so we're sharing a lot yeah, of stuff. A good, a good snack yeah. while we were just drinking around the uh, <laughs> world Drinking showcase. around the world, yay! Okay, we got the Cubanito, Cubanito from the Florida Fresh booth, and this was six fifty. So we're gonna give it a try. This is the baby Cuban sandwich. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, the bread's really good. Mm -hmm. It's like a baguette. Yeah, there is. It's a little pickly, <laughs> but still very good. Pork's like pretty cheese. good. Mm -hmm. Pork, yeah. Mm -hmm. It is time to ride test track. Here we go. Oh, ten seconds. Ten seconds. Oh yeah, yeah, that's good. Okay. There we go. Yes. Nice. Yes. We're ready to go. That looks awesome. It's actually we get to design our car at Test Track. So this is what it looks like. It's awesome. Yay. Basket. Commencing sim car off road and extreme weather sequence. Energizing for power test. Frozen again, and then we're gonna explore the world showcase. I have been enjoying this trip though, it's been very like not urgent. I felt like on all our last trips, everything's so urgent because we like didn't have a lot of time, but this time we've had time to do things and really enjoy and uh, soak up the atmosphere, which I really enjoy. All right, I'm not gonna film on this one, I'm just going to enjoy it because you guys have seen it already, so I'll see you at the end. Made our way over to Refreshment Outpost. And what we're here for is this Sweet Water Brewing Co. Half a Gummy Fruit Punch IPA from Atlanta, Georgia. Georgia has some really good beer. Um, and I've heard good things about this. It doesn't, they don't have a flight here. They, you can only get like individual ones. So, but we're gonna go with that one because it sounds delicious. He's got the goods. All right, let's see you give it a whirl. 
Oh, the really the gummy taste really comes through. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Give it a try. Very gummy. Oh, oh, oh! This is dangerous. <laughs> this is very good. And didn't you say it was a high percentage? Yeah, I think so. It's like nine percent or something. Uh, apparently, eight. I don't think it is though. I don't know. So be careful with your beers in Epcot. A lot. Some of them are higher percentages than others, but they don't actually list the the alcohol content. So. You're kind of playing with fire. <laughs> We're just strolling around World Showcase and we noticed that they're uh, bringing out the barges now for uh, Luminous, for the fireworks for later. They used to leave them out there for Harmonious, but they don't do that anymore. They uh, take them away. So a lot of people were complaining that they looked ugly, I guess, but so now they just cart them out here like this and set them up for later. We are currently exploring the Germany Pavilion. There's a lot of expensive things in here. We saw some steins and then they had some interesting alcohol. And now we're looking at fancy figurines. I want this Bambi. It's very pretty. It's amazing. So these are mounted on a white alabaster base in Italy. Each piece is encrusted with over almost 6,000 handset Swarovski crystal stones. So there you go. Very fancy. What are you seeing over here? Ooh, jewelry. You, you like those? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Those are very nice. Oh, they're only $40. Yeah. That's not a tarot watch. Oh, I like yeah. these too. Those earrings are really pretty. Oh, yeah, they got some really nice stuff. Oh, and then they got they some one. display plates. Ooh, yes. Very nice. Snow White and the dwarves. And then if you'd like a tiara, they can make that happen. They have some Christmas tree ornaments, each with like a Disney character. So there's like Tigger in there. There's Bambi in there. These would not survive the plane ride, sadly. Way too fragile. Here is a Spaceship Earth ball. And it is set with over, yeah, 122,000 Austrian crystal stones. Oh, it took 459 hours to complete. Yes. And it could be yours for $80,000. All right, so we just had, I guess, a dinner at Regal Eagle Smokehouse, impromptu. We didn't plan to go there, but um, we ended up ordering the half chicken with, um, it comes with garlic toast and your choice of side. We went with the coleslaw, but you can get like fries. There's like baked beans, onion rings. There's a whole ton of different stuff that you can get, but we went with the coleslaw. It was really loud in there, so I, we couldn't really record when we were like eating. So, what would you say about the chicken, mm -hmm. sir? The chicken was incredibly moist, came out really nice. The smoke flavor was good. The skin was delicious. Um, very, it was portion. saucy, yeah. Yeah. Saucy, yeah. saucy, but not too saucy. The garlic toast was great. Nice garlic flavor, really crispy. Coleslaw was okay. I could, you know, see a better coleslaw, but still good. Still passable. We've, we've had worse coleslaw. Yeah. <laughs> Let's put it that way. I would give it like a 4.7 out of 5. <laughs> yes, for sure. And for the price, we easily split it and we're both satisfied with with how much we had to eat. I agree with, with the, the rating. It was delicious, very yummy. Um, yeah, check it out if you're looking for a delicious smokehouse and a good meal in, in a park. I know it can be hard to find for a good price point, but yeah. this will do it. Yeah, really good. All right, we walked over to the stand in the American Pavilion and got another beer flight. And it's with this Fruit Punch Fruit Ale from Cincinnati, Ohio. And then there's a Weiss beer from Germany and Ghost in the Machine double IPA from Louisiana. So here's what the beers look like. I believe this one's the IPA and then this one's probably the Weiss beer. And then we got the fruit ale over here. Alex just ran to the washroom. So when he comes back, we'll give them a try. So this is the fruit ale. It's so fruity and delicious. And Alex described it as being kind of having like a bready finish. But if you're not a beer drinker, definitely give this a try. I think it's, it doesn't really taste like beer. It's much fruitier and it's almost like leaning towards like a rosé almost to me. 
in a way, other yeah. than like the breadiness. Like it's thicker, obviously, than a like a wine, yeah. but really, really good. In Morocco now, and we decided to try the cider flight. So there's a honeysuckle hard cider, a citrus hard cider, and a pomegranate one. And there you are. This is how they all look. I'm sure they will be quite delicious. Okay, we're in between France and Morocco now, and we're stopping to get this impossible Jamaican beef patty with spicy papaya syrup. This might be the last food thing that we do today. And um, yeah, I'm excited to try it. This has now got it. Looks like a delight. We're gonna dig in and it's a fair size too, and it's only 650. Oh. Papaya, we haven't got any beef yet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He hasn't got to the impossible part yet. Bigger bites, oh yes. Not bad. Yeah? Spiced? It's, well it's a spiced, delight? Yeah. yeah? Okay. There you go, and there's the inside. Ooh. Nom nom nom. It's the best smelling food stand so far. <laughs> yes, it smells very like spicy when you walk over here. This is a, this is a delight. It's very hard to tell that it's like not meat. It's very spicy too. And the the, um, the outside, the crust, the pastry is really good too mm -hmm. for being vegan. Mm -hmm. It's spicy though, so if you don't like spice, avoid this. But, but great, great for a vegan oven. Holy moly. Yeah. Four out of five. Yeah. Eight out of ten. Four point five. Four point five. Cheer! <laughs> We eventually made our way over to the Mexico Pavilion to go on the Grand Fiesta tour. Right before we got on the ride, my phone ran out of space, so I had to grab Alex's phone and record it that way. Once we got off the ride, the sun was starting to set, so we grabbed a spot for luminous fireworks, and we honestly ended up not staying for the entire show, but I'll explain uh, what we thought of the show once we get back to the hotel. Bye Epcot, you're one heck of a park. We're parked in the Wally lot. He's so cute. <laughs> Made it back to the room. We decided to leave Luminous. We didn't even really watch the whole show. We decided we wanted to leave the park, get ahead of the crowd, but Luminous in itself wasn't amazing. I'll we'll put it that way. It, it wouldn't make me stay at the park, you know, till the end to, to watch it. It wasn't that captivating or anything. Illuminations is still my all time favorite fireworks show at Epcot, but I really wanted to see it and decide for myself if I liked it or not. It was a very long day at Epcot and it was just so, so hot. Um, by the end, I was just pretty much done. And also today I had a huge struggle with my phone and the storage on it and I kept getting like my phone kept saying it was full and then I was trying to figure out how to upload stuff to the like iCloud or Google Photos and it was just taking forever. So the footage may be a little all over the place. I hope it turns out, but um, yeah, so it might be a little shorter of a video this time, but hopefully it turned out okay. We were able to walk around World Showcase and try lots of drinks and lots of different cut types of food. So that was really great to do and check out a few of the countries and that. And we still got a lot of rides in as well with the family and everything. So overall, I'd say it was a very successful Epcot day. Tomorrow is our last day. I am very sad that our trip is coming to an end, but tomorrow we are finishing it off with Hollywood Studios. We're going to be spending mo the majority of the day there, probably until early afternoon because we have a later flight that doesn't leave until the evening. So we have, you know, majority of the day to just walk around and that. And it's actually my brother-in-law's birthday. So we're gonna be celebrating that. But for now, I am super exhausted, super tired and ready for bed. I'm going to hop in the shower and then sleep. The fire alarm this morning at 2 a.m. did not help things. So I hope that does not happen again. And I sleep through the night because I really need it. <laughs> Disney is tiring. But yes, thank you so much for watching. If you've watched so far this long, 
comment down below a heart emoji and I am so appreciative of you all. Be sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any future content like this to come or next week's vlog. And give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you all next time. Bye everyone.